Hey everyone, John Reed here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my new book, 50 Things to See with a Telescope, Kids and Parents Too. So, in this book, uh, I've taken a very layered approach, so you don't even need a telescope to enjoy it. The book goes season by season and talks about the major constellations that are easy to find. So hypothetically, you can just lay on your back and go and learn these constellations. But once you've learned the constellations, now you can start to navigate to the what we call the gems within, the galaxies or nebula or globular clusters. But the next step isn't really telescopes, so you can look at almost half these targets just with binoculars, like the Andromeda Galaxy is a great target for binoculars. And so I show you how to do that too. So for each item that's a binocular target, I've included just a little picture of binoculars right here. For example, here's the Pleiades, which is a great target for binoculars. And when you move up to the telescope, I've got telescope uh, images, so you'll know what it looks like through a telescope. And then I have the difficulty level out of five right below it, so you know how difficult it will be to find. And the book also contains quite a bit of front matter on how to choose your telescope, what makes a good telescope for kids, and then the parts of a telescope and a couple, a couple types of telescopes that you might be using. The book talks about how to focus your telescope, how to choose your eyepiece, and it talks about the night sky. What do we mean when we talk about dark sky, moonless nights, or, you know, if the moon is up, well, then you probably want to be looking at the moon, that sort of thing. And I talk about star hopping, so plotting your route across the sky. How do you get to where you're trying to go with a telescope? It's very good to know. The book is currently available on Amazon.com and Amazon.ca. I'd like to thank Curtis Ansey from the St. Mary's University Writing Center, and I'd like to also thank Dave Chapman from the Royal Astronomical Society of Canada for helping with the content. Thanks very much, and I hope you enjoy.